How you doing? This is Ivan with Bite Size Wisdom for Busy People and I'm back with another idea to help you live more consciously. Today our topic is on Karma Yoga and here we will define Karma Yoga as simply being the science of non-identifying. This means that we learn to approach life in a way that is equal whether those events are pleasant or unpleasant. That is, we approach them consciously. We do not try to avoid the unpleasant things in life which most people spend their whole lives doing. When we approach life with non-identifying, we see that it becomes our ultimate teacher. Life gains a whole new meaning. It's not that life is a teacher, but that through our relationship and non-identifying, it comes to be our teacher. We use the unpleasant things in life as a way to change our being. This increases our energy, our intelligence, we approach life from a carefully formulated aim, from a deeper understanding of the higher ideas that we have studied. We need to see that it is impossible to understand life in terms of itself. Our self-development work serves as a way to give us meaning, to transform our life, to transform ourselves. Life is very short, so it's important that we do not drift and we need to ask ourselves sincerely, what am I doing? Where am I going? What's our reason for living? We start wherever we find ourselves, knowing that whatever circumstances we are presently in is exactly where we need to be and what we need for our own personal growth. Each person's circumstances presents its own unique challenges and lessons. Life can show us what we need to work on in order to develop and fulfill our purpose here on earth and one of the things that life can show us by learning to not identify with it is that we all have our own unique chief fault that keeps us locked in into our circumstances and through our reactions we can see how we always react in the same way and it wasn't life it was us that was responsible for why things are the way they are people close to us they can see our chief fault and if they tell us we ordinarily don't see it and believe them, this is because we are identified to it and our personality wrongly revolves around it. But when we can catch a glimpse through genuine self-observation and see how this chief fault spoils our life, it can help us to identify less with it. This is why we need to learn to rest in thought-free, restful awareness as much as we can throughout our day. This is to slip into the gap between our thoughts. Only by being aware and alert will we be able to not identify to the usual events of our lives that are now largely a mechanical, unconscious flow of associations. And all the ideas and insights that I share here on my channel are towards that aim. So if you are new to my channel, stay tuned and also check out my essential self-development playlist. Check out my website, freedomfromthenown.com. They can all help you to get you started, to become more aware and of learning to abide in the thought-free, restful awareness. All right, guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's little topic. If you did, please help me out and hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and share with anyone who may find my content valuable. I really appreciate it. So wherever you are in the world, I hope you're doing well. Until next time, take care. Peace.